I was accidentally caught up in a murder, they would 1000% think I'm guilty. We've actually got a funny story about the nativity. Some of these trees definitely have some unusual decorations in. I might have something different with my hair done. The breakfast of champions. Harry Styles singing in my shower, what can I say? Shut up. Hello everyone. God, look at the length of my arms in this shot. <laughs> Why do they look so long? That's so funny. Anyway, today is Wednesday. Monday and Tuesday this week, I actually spent working on a different branded video, so I decided not to vlog yesterday and the day before, basically. So we're starting a weekly vlog from Wednesday today. Hope that's all right with you. I'm starting this vlog because I've just found some really cute little things. Basically, we're redoing my mum and dad's bedroom. My mum's currently stripping the wallpaper as we speak. And I was having a little route through one of the wardrobes and I came across a load of my old baby clothes. I mean, there's not loads here, but I'm looking at them at the minute and they are so cute. And I'm so glad that we've kept them. I literally remember putting them in this wardrobe in a specific place because I thought one day if I have a little girl, I definitely want to have these like professionally cleaned and dress her in them. I just think it'd be the cutest thing. So let's have a little look. If there's one thing that I love in this world, it is baby clothes. And the fact that I used to fit into these, like look at the size of this. <laughs> How sweet. They are all clean, but they do look a bit grubby because obviously babies dribble and stuff like this. But this one actually looks all right. This one is my favorite. Obviously it's got a bit of yellow dribble staining at the top. But look, it's got little Rue. Is it Rue from Winnie the Pooh? I think that's Rue, but it's so tiny. And then this one is really grubby. Well, like it's obviously clean, but it's stained. This is like one of those baby grows that I remember, I don't remember wearing, but like I'm wearing this in a lot of pictures. I think this is one of my staples. Then this little dress, this is so like 90s. We definitely have pictures of me wearing this. God, why is it so long? I can confirm I wasn't that long as a baby. But it's got a little bit of embroidery on the top, a couple of ducks, and then these are the really cute bits. So this cardigan might have to be the outfit that I bring my baby home in one day. This is my head, and this is the cardigan. <laughs> it's the cutest thing. And then this one, this one's a little bit bigger. This dress, oh my goodness. If I can find a picture of me wearing this dress, I'm gonna insert it, but I can't remember where the pictures are. I'll have to have a search, but we've definitely got pictures of me wearing this one. Again, it's a little bit yellow at the top, but this is one of those dresses that I am 1000% gonna take pictures of my baby in. And then this one, my mum's friend actually made this, she just told me. It's got a little matching headband. This one's not my fave, but I feel like it's a very classic 90s baby dress. Look at these little shoes. Oh my giddy aunt. I've also got these little purple booties. <laughs> oh my gosh, and a bonnet. Not sure how I feel about bonnets. I think like fashionable ones from Zara Kids look really cute, but ones like this, I'm not sure if my child is actually gonna be put through wearing that. Speaking of baby clothes, hang on, let me move you around here. I ordered this for Sunny. These are really, really popular. It's called an equa fleece. It's basically a little dog suit. Look at it, it's so funny. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it's made of fleece and it's waterproof and it's really warm. She actually got soaked yesterday. I felt really bad. I had a bath and mum and dad took her out for a quick walk around the block to the shop. I was in the bath and I heard the rain start and by the time they got back, they were so soaked. So this one has actually been made to Sunny's size because it was sold out on the website. They have loads of different colours and everything. I'm really excited about this. So I'm going to try it on her. Look at this muddy face. Look at your muddy chin. Have you been digging? Something tells me you have. I've just put it on her. It fits perfectly but she doesn't know what to do. <laughs> She's walking so weird. Oh Sunny, oh, what's okay. that? It's all right. It's good. It'll keep you nice and warm. Is that good? No, I hate it. What is it? <laughs> I want to show you the bum. It's so funny. Come on. You haven't frozen. You can move in it. Look at the bum. <laughs> it's a little while later. I'm in a bit of a rush. I'm not going to lie. I need to go up to my dad's business to upload a video because his internet is so much faster up there than ours at home. And I am running late with this deadline. So I'm a little bit stressed. My mum's up there as well. So I've just put Sunny in the car. She's down here. And I'm gonna take her for a walk after at the same time, like round where the business is, because it's on a farm. <gasps> I'm a bit stressed though. I hate when jobs take longer than I thought they would in my head, because I like to keep to really strict timelines. So if I overrun, I start to panic, and that's kind of where I'm at now. It's two o'clock, and I wanted to send this video off before 12, so let's get going. So my camera's died, but my video's just uploading in my dad's office, 
and I've brought Sunny out. Come on! Good girl! Look at you in your little suit. You look so smart. One thing I wasn't expecting when I got a dog was that I'd actually... <laughs> I'd really enjoy the walks. I love bringing her out, apart from when she does poo, obviously. But it's so much fun. Like She just loves it so much. I feel like I'm watching my child have a good time. Also, this eyeshadow this morning, I used this new palette from Too Faced, which they very kindly sent me. It's the Pumpkin Spice palette. It's very easy to use. It's got really nice colors in it as well, like very easy to use colors. So far, I'd recommend it. I quite like my makeup today. It's very natural, but hmm, it's all right. Nothing special. Get over yourself. I still can't get over the bum. <laughs> Look at the bum. My baby hairs are having a wild morning this morning. <laughs> anyway guys, hello again. Today it is, what's the day? Thursday today. This morning I've decided I'm gonna treat myself to a luxurious breakfast because why not? Happy Thursday. Every day is a celebration if you want it to be. And this week, very exciting, this section of the vlog is actually sponsored by the lovely team over at Skinny Food. So I picked out a whole load of yummy stuff from their website. It's all here in this little box. I've already tried a couple of things. They are delish. So I'm gonna show you quickly what I got. Welcome to my breakfast haul. So the first thing is what I'm gonna have for breakfast. I got the pancake mix. This is vegetarian, it's got 21 calories, zero palm oil, zero teaspoons of added sugars. You all know that this gal is not a calorie counter. I literally eat anything and everything. But if something says that it's healthy on the packet, to me, that means I can eat more of it. <laughs> so I'm gonna make some of these for breakfast this morning. Looks super easy. You can just add milk or water to a bowl and then add the pancake mix, lovely. And to go with this, I thought this would be really lovely. This is a zero calorie maple and cinnamon syrup. <gasps> Don't that sound really Christmassy? I think it does. So this is vegan, gluten-free, fat-free, zero calorie, diabetic friendly, sugar free, all the good stuff. It means you can drown your pancakes in it. Edible cookie dough. Now this isn't for breakfast, but you best believe I'm so excited to try these. There's nine pieces of cookie dough in this mixture. Then I decided to pick out a few different types of coffee. So the ones that I chose, there are so many on the website, but I thought these ones sounded particularly delicious. Nutty hazelnut coffee. I have tried this one, hence why it's open and it is so good. Also got cinnamon swirl coffee. I love cinnamon and as soon as it gets to like November, I relish in the cinnamon. I just love it. It feels Christmassy to me. Defo a winter flavour. And then the last one I picked out is the chocolate mocha. I thought this looked interesting as well. This is their caramel creamer. So you put this in your coffee, it makes it nice and creamy. I have also tried this, can confirm it is delicious. And then the final things I picked out are a couple of syrups for coffee. So the first one is the cinnamon swirl, again. You know how I'm feeling. And the second one is hazelnut praline. Fun fact about me and my family, actually, we all love nutty flavours. Hazelnut, almond, peanuts, anything like that. We are so here for it. So if you're interested, there's a link to Skinny Food in the description down below. Obviously, I picked out a lot of the sweet stuff, but they also have some savoury sauces and things like that. And every product will tell you if it's vegan, zero calorie, diabetic friendly. So generally speaking, really good ingredients, really yummy food food and you can have as much of it as you like. <laughs> anyway, with that, let's get cooking breakfast pancakes this morning. Happy Thursday! And there we have it! Not the most photogenic pancakes ever because I am not a professional chef. I always overload my pancakes with fruit and then I think, hmm, Han, more would have been less. But I love a lot of fruit, you know? I also chopped up a few almonds to go on top. Obviously, I've got the maple and cinnamon syrup on there too. I end up putting a little bit more than one tablespoon of the pancake mixture into each pancake. I'd recommend maybe like one and a half to two tablespoons to get the mixture a bit thicker. But how good have they turned out? Well and truly, the breakfast of champions. I've just finished my breakfast. I feel like I've got the syrup all around my mouth. The syrup was so good. That's my favourite thing I've tried so far from Skinny Food. We are definitely going to be repurchasing that again and again. I know the whole family are going to love that. And everything from Skinny Food is really affordable. You can also get like different bundles and stuff on the website. So I'm going to leave them linked in the description down below. Go and check them out. Treat yourself. And keep in mind that I would highly recommend the maple and cinnamon syrup hands up if you would like 
the most random Amazon haul of the week. It's a little while later guys, I've just got back from taking Sunny out for a long walk. It's now about almost 2 o'clock I think, about 20 to 2. Um, I just had an Amazon delivery arrive which I've been very excited about. I love random stuff, like the random deliveries are the best ones. So the first thing that I bought on Amazon, what are these like? Oh these feel nice! Bought some more of these little head things because they're really handy on walks. I have my hair in a bun pretty much all the time. Lovely, keep your ears nice and warm. Came in a pack of three, so we've got grey, beige, love that one, and also black. These were really cheap, but they feel really nice quality. I thought they were going to feel a bit naff, but they do actually feel really soft and like really thick. Not the trendiest things in the world, I know, but practical. I hate having cold ears. It puts me in such a bad mood, like an instant horrendous mood. The next thing I got, I asked in my last vlog for any recommendations of eyelash and eyebrow serums and a couple of people both said castor oil. I've never heard of it before but I decided to pick some out on Amazon. I think you can dilute this but one girl said she just uses it like raw, <laughs> raw, pure, on its own. So this is 100% pure organic castor oil, thickens eyelashes, promotes hair growth, does a whole load of things. So yeah, I picked that out. Thank you very much if you left those comments. Oh my god, this is one I've been so excited for. This book, Silka's Journey. This is the sequel to The Tattooist of Auschwitz, which is my best book. My best book. <laughs> I can't speak. God, you'd never think I could read. It is the best book, my favourite, that I've read for a long time. I loved the first one, and as soon as I saw that she was bringing out a sequel, kid you not, I've been waiting probably years to read this. <laughs> That's dramatic. I think I read The Tattooist of Auschwitz last year. But as soon as I finished that one, I could not wait for the paperback to be released of this. I also got this little detangling spray for Sunny, because she's got a couple of tangles in her fur, and I don't want to hurt her getting them out. Blimey, this is a big bottle. So I decided to pick this up, and I'm just going to like try and comb out the tangles with a bit of this. I also got some more disposable face masks because I actually prefer using the reusable ones I think they're so much more comfortable but you know those grab and go moments when you're like mm, I'm not sure where my face mask is I can't remember if I've washed it since the last time I used it so you just want to grab a disposable one and also my dad prefers disposable ones to reusable so got another box of these and then the last two things I bought I bought Sunny some Halloween costumes <laughs> it's a little pumpkin and it's got a little pumpkin hat as well. How cute. They actually look really small though. I'm not sure they're going to fit her. Oh, actually, no. There's no way her neck is that big. And then the other one I got. Little bat wings. <laughs> Poor dog, honestly. The life she's been subjected to. Bless her. She actually really doesn't mind wearing clothes, like her dog suit and stuff. Anyway, I'm about to have a quick sandwich because I'm not eating yet. And then at two o'clock, my mate Chelsea is coming over. I haven't seen her for ages. So she's going to come over for a quick catch up. Have a little coffee together, maybe. Hello again. Oh, I'm <laughs> Chelsea's popping in. No element of surprise here today. <laughs> Chelsea's here now. Introduce yourself. Hello. Hello. She had her hair done the other day. Didn't it look lovely? Oh, I actually thought you. I thought she'd had extensions when she knocked on the door. I was like, you had extensions. It looks so long. Oh, it is a bit long. I mean, I know we haven't seen each other for a few weeks, but <laughs> I thought, blimey, her hair is growing quick. quick. I love the colour as well. And you'll be going to the same hairdresser that I go to? I am. My hairdresser's on maternity leave. Well, she's fully booked until she's on maternity leave. So I had to book in with Chelsea's hairdresser. I'm excited. It's always <laughs> scary going to a new hairdresser, isn't it? But yeah. I am excited for it. We've just been discussing what I'm going to have done. I might have something different with my hair done. Let me know in the comments if you've got any hair suggestions of what I should do. So I think we have commitment issues anyway, so new hairdressers is probably quite a big deal. We do, we hate change, yeah. we're literally the worst with change, it's so funny. We we're so pedantic about everything. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's been nice having a little catch up, you've been around yeah. for a few hours haven't you? I just completely forgot nice. to get my camera out, but it's been lovely. Sunny's been trying to eat my hair. Yeah, Sunny's very fascinated with the hair. <laughs> I think it's because I've turned into a mum and my hair's always in a bun now. So when Chelsea's hair was down, yeah. she's like, wow. She's trying to eat it. She's got such long hair. You look so tanned as well. I know, I was thinking, I hope I don't look orange. No, you don't. What tan have you used? St. Marie's. Dark have you? Yeah, it's a dark really nice. one. Oh, lovely. I don't know why it came out so dark this time. Yeah, your tan doesn't usually come out that dark, does no, it? No, I was nice using though. like a, um, have you ever had the St. Marie's like gel? Not gel, but it's like, um, I don't know. What, what, the actual tan is gel? Yeah, like yeah. it's not a foam. It's mm. like a, I was using that and it wasn't very, like it didn't come out that dark. No. But, now you switch to the mousse. Yeah. Love a mousse. Do you know what I've tried recently? Like. Clear tan. Game changer. Is that the one that doesn't come out as a colour? Or am I just... <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't. Well, some of them do a little bit, but the one I used the other day doesn't. My tan, I've got no tan on at the minute. You're probably like, <laughs> does it work, tan? 
I know I haven't got any on, but if you put it on, you don't even have to rinse it off in the morning and it doesn't go on your bed sheets. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I need that. Genius. Then. My <laughs> towels and bed sheets are like long Does gone. Does Stephen get annoyed at your bed sheets? Yes. <laughs> They're so saving them. They're That's the perk of being single. Point. Yeah. <laughs> Hello everyone. It's Friday. I've had an emergency. I've just seen a TikTok that says if you put your phone in your bathroom, this sound sounds like Harry Styles is singing in your shower. So I'm going to try it. Okay, this is the sound. I've got to try it. Harry Styles singing in my shower, what can I say? Happy Friday. <laughs> I have no life, but I know that if you like Harry Styles, you're gonna enjoy that too. So I'll leave the TikTok linked in the description down below so you can try it with your phone in your bathroom. You're welcome. Me before I got a dog. She's not gonna be a spoiled kind of dog though. Me now. Are you comfy in your blanket? Why do I treat her like she's a baby? You are too precious little girl i have another favorite youtuber kendall ray now a lot of you probably know who that is she makes true crime videos let me explain myself i am a hardcore eleanor neal stan and to be honest with you i ruled out the idea of watching any other true crime youtubers because i felt like i was cheating on my girl eleanor and then a video popped up where Eleanor did a collab with Kendall Ray. Kendall is like the American version of Eleanor. So I watched their collab and I thought, do you know what? This girl seems all right. I looked at her channel. She does a lot of American cases. So Eleanor hasn't done all of the ones that she has and vice versa. So I started watching some of her videos and a little bit obsessed to the point where if I was accidentally caught up in a murder, obviously I would never murder anybody. Blimey, I lose sleep if I eat the last chocolate in the tin guilt just eats me alive but if i was accidentally caught up in one if they looked at my youtube history they would 1000 percent think i'm guilty because 99 percent of the videos i watch are about murders <laughs> i just find it really fascinating to be honest i've always been like this before i even discovered true crime youtube i kid you not me and my mum have watched every single serial killer documentary in the book oh look who's coming to join the serial killer chat but britain's most evil killers we watch that every lunchtime there's so many series of it and we've seen every episode now these true crime girls just smashing it i kind of wish that i'd come up with the idea first because i would have love to make true crime videos but there's no way i can top ellen and eel i'm gonna leave it to her because she just does such a good job of it okay the next one i'm gonna watch is called stolen from her bed where is hayley cummings there must be something wrong with me the time is now 10 to 4 i don't know why i said that like it was big brother it was 10 to 4 in the big brother house <laughs> um anyway we're on our way to a garden center very exciting i think i actually wore this exact outfit to the last garden centre we tried? Probably. I think I did. It must be my garden centre outfit. Anyway, last week we went to a garden centre and I didn't have the Christmas stuff out yet. So we're trying again at a different garden centre. And this one's a lot bigger, isn't it? Much bigger. Much bigger, this one. I've only been there about... Not very often. I remember as a child, I always thought it was really posh and like only really rich people went to this garden centre. We should tell you it was a day out. <laughs> did you? <laughs> <laughs> well it is now <laughs> anyway we're going to the garden center it's called alton's we're gonna go and see if they've got christmas stuff fingers crossed they have like really modern homeware in there there's a massive homeware section it's not just i don't think it should be called the garden center because the garden part is only very small compared to the rest of it it is it does do lots of different things it's more like a shopping center <laughs> with a garden section and dogs are allowed so sunny's with us she's coming in just hoping she doesn't wee on the floor of a very posh garden center or worse or worse <laughs> fingers crossed definitely more successful than the last not even gone in yet and there's christmas outside this feels so christmasy i can't believe this we've literally just walked in and the christmas section is unbelievable look at these santas show sunny the santa see what she thinks who's that sunny not bothered <laughs> Sunny's first Christmas, isn't it? Sunny's first Christmas. I feel like I'm in a winter wonderland. Look at this big tree. This makes me feel so Christmassy. Oh, I like these decorations. Ooh, Look at yeah. those, aren't they yeah. different? Okay, we need to decide what color baubles we're going for this year. I think like this color, like that. Yeah, that's a nice color. It's like yeah. champagne -y gold. Yeah. Look how unusual these are. It's like a bauble full of tiny baubles. If only it's the right colour, I definitely think this champagne gold colour over there. Yeah, 
that's what yeah. we need. I just found my new favourite bauble. <laughs> <laughs> They've got donuts as well. Look at the donut <laughs> and the rolling pin. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's loads of food ones. Cotton candy, cupcakes, ice creams. Not sure I'd actually want a tree full of food. These look so classic Christmas, don't they? They're this doing, whole display yeah. over here. It's because of the sweet things in the background as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's like 90s, oh. 90s Christmas. I like these bears. I like Mr. Gold one. Oh, we could have a little bear family on our um, fire, not fireplace, we've got a fireplace, <laughs> radiator cover. <laughs> What's that, Sonny? You saying hello? There's some more classic 90s. Is it 90s or 80s or 70s? What am I thinking more about? 70s, I should think. More 70s, very like old fashioned baubles this year. Oh, look at that. I really like them. Oh, I like these. <gasps> look at the gingerbread house. Oh, that's sweet, isn't it? And the gingerbread man. <laughs> All the gingerbreads. <laughs> oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. Oh, wow. Gingerbread friends. There's literally every colour nutcracker you could ever want. There is. Well, almost. I don't know how I feel about nutcrackers. I don't know if I like them or not. If I was going to pick out of these ones, I'd pick that gold one. We've just found the silver display. I don't really... Mm, I mean, it looks nice, this tree. I just think I like a bit of colour in a tree. Oh, I really like that. But there's a lot of silver here. I guess lots of people have grey homes now, don't they? Our home's not that great. Oh, look. These would oh, match our colour scheme. Yeah. This sort of champagne -y gold. Like, not yeah. gold, but not silver but not rose gold. These are my favourite Santas we've seen so far. Yeah, I, like I really too. like that. I really yeah. like the white. 7 99 that's really good, isn't it, for yeah, him? it is. Look at the pink. That is pretty, isn't it? In the right it house, is, is yeah, but I'm not sure how I'd feel about having that in our house. No, it wouldn't suit our house. No, it wouldn't. But I do like these. Pink yeah. mistletoe, I like that. And I like this. Look at him. His little braces on. <laughs> I'm not really sure why there's a big horse, though. Doesn't really scream Christmas to me, but it does scream Winter Wonderland. It's Look at the big flowers. Oh, has it got? Oh, it's a unicorn. Yeah. Have you ever seen a mermaid Christmas tree with a mermaid? <laughs> it does look slightly horrendous. It's 150 pounds that. But if you've got a young daughter, I bet they would love this tree. Maybe not with the mermaid complete no. though. <laughs> this red tree is more my sort of style. Very classic. Oh, look, the whole nativity. The whole family together. We've actually got a funny story about the nativity. How old was I when it happened? Probably three. Three? So I've got an older brother. And he was doing his nativity at school. I was only three and I used to love playing with dolls and I ran up in front of all the audience, didn't I? Yeah. Ran up to the stage, took the baby Jesus out of the, what's it called? Crib. Out of the crib and took it home, didn't I? They yeah, let me ran keep back, it. Yeah. Ran, was it embarrassing? It was, and we went, oh. Did they? <laughs> I stole the baby Jesus. It's like that um, EastEnders thing when Cat took Ronnie's baby. <laughs> oh, look at them. There's a lot of like cartoon decorations this year, aren't there? Yeah, there are. Maybe that's just in this shop, but I do like them. If, I, if we had young children in the family. Yeah, we not, yeah but you've got to have young children. Too. Yeah, you have. They would love stuff like that. Look at the mouse. He looks so happy. Mum just said this whole display reminds her of It's a Small World at Disney, and it definitely does. I just said, oh, look at this tree. It's got a Brussels sprout on it. How funny. And then I went, oh, is it a cabbage? And Mum went, I think that's meant to be a rose. Defo looks like a sprout to me. Some of these trees definitely have some unusual decorations in. Just a couple of foxes in the tree, along with some owls. Normal. If there's one thing Sunny loves in this world more than anything else, it's squirrels. Sunny, look. Look. The bigger ones up Oh, there's a big one. You see the squirrel? She doesn't understand. She's like, why isn't it running? I've found our table centerpiece. Isn't that so pretty? Yeah. That would look really nice in our lounge. That really like matches the colors. Yeah, and if we did those colors on the tree, as you said. Yeah, that color on the tree. Yeah. A table like this. I think this is what we should do this year. I really do. I really like this centerpiece. I do think this table looks really pretty as well though, mm. for Christmas dinner. Oh, and this one. Wow, I like their table displays a lot in here. I really yeah. like this. Do you know what it reminds me a bit of though? Mm. Um, funeral flowers. Well, not ideal at Christmas. No, it doesn't really scream Christmas to me. We've got a bit sidetracked and we're looking at dining tables in here now. This whole set, we really like it. We're just testing out the chairs. We have found dog crackers woofing Christmas. Do you want a cracker? I think she would actually be terrified of the popping noise. Yeah. Sunny's made friends at the garden centre. Sunny, that's not your bed. We've just found the dog section and she's made herself at home. Where are you going? Oh, you prefer that one? <laughs> That's not your bed. I can't believe she's just got into the bed. 
Sunny, that's not allowed. I can hear my mum asking the dog if she's had a nice day. <laughs> That's so cute. Anyway, my loves, we are now home. We popped out for a little walk after we went to the garden centre. So it is now quarter to seven. And I've decided we're gonna have the ultimate cozy evening tonight. This whole week I've been working really late and I haven't been able to like go and sit downstairs and chill out until about 10 o'clock. So today we're changing that. Quarter to seven and I'm gonna have a bath, do some skincare. We're gonna make hot chocolates tonight. We've got some popcorn as well. We're gonna watch Goggle Box. Oh, it's just going to be full of all my favourite things. Cosy slippers, comfy PJs. That is the plan for this evening. But look at this PR package that arrived today. I wish I filmed my mum and I's reaction because I don't think we've ever had a reaction quite like it. So it's from Too Faced and I am actually working with them in an upcoming Instagram post but this video is not sponsored. They sent the package. It looks like this. I thought, mm, lovely, love Too Faced packaging. I opened it up and I was like, oh, it's fell out. So we've got the three different lip injection lip plumpers. I actually already have this lip injection extreme plumper. It really does make your lips look more plump. I love it. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's great. And then I opened this and I noticed there was a little tab. So I pulled it out. You're not ready for this. You're actually not ready. It's very hard to do with one hand, but this is what was inside. Shut up. I'm never gonna need another lip gloss again in my life. Oh, it's fell out again. These are all the new Too Faced Lip Plumper lip glosses. There is every colour you could possibly need. These ones are the High Shine Creamy Finish, and these ones are the High Shine Shimmer Finish. My favourite, I actually used it this morning, is this one. You know how I feel about a nude. This is the shade Soulmate. I think it's so pretty. But I love every single one. Like, how nice is this one going to be in autumn? It is the autumn, but you know, autumn winter vibes. The packaging that Too Faced create is just the best packaging of all time. It's genuinely my favourite packaging of any makeup brand. So I'm very excited to shoot that content. I might do that on Sunday, although Sunday's supposed to be my day off. Maybe Monday. I'll see. They also sent this eyeshadow palette. This is the one that I was wearing when I mentioned it out on the dog walk. I forgot to show you. But this is the pumpkin spice palette and the colours in this. I've actually used it today as well. I know it's the end of the day, but my eyeshadow is still there. These are the colours in it. How nice are they? Anyway, I am about to do a face mask because I haven't done one for a couple of weeks, actually. <gasps> Who am I? So the mask that I'm going for tonight is this one from Dr. Barbara Sturm. This is the first time I've used this. Here's the packaging, very sleek. It's a very scientific brand. Molecular Cosmetics. Happy Halloween. Halloween's come early. Don't I look horrific? This face mask, I'm not sure how I feel about it so far. It was very like jelly. It's kind of like a gel. I don't feel like it's gonna go hard. It's defo not a clay. It feels like I was putting jelly on my face before the jelly is set in the fridge. I've just run myself a lovely little bubble bath. I don't know why, but it doesn't look very pink on camera. It's actually really pink in person because I put some of this in it. The Body Shop's Berry Bath Blend, a hydrating bath foam. It smells amazing. And it's made my bath water pink. What a win. Well, that looks very brown. It actually looks kind of like sewage <laughs> on camera. <laughs> anyway, I will see you after my bath when I've got my PJs on in three, two, one. Ta-da! I am so ready for a cosy Friday night. So we've just started making our hot chocolates. The reason we use two pans is because mum has cow's milk and I have oat milk. Got my milk, got our chocolate things. Where's your mug? Over here. How many um, teaspoons of this? Two? Yeah. Let me know in the comments, how do you make your hot chocolates? We put the chocolate powder in, boil the milk and pour the milk in. Is that how everyone makes it? I don't know. <laughs> As I said that, I was like, what if that's just the normal way? We have got a nice little whisk that I like just... Oh yeah, where's our hot chocolate whisk? Look at the tiny whisk! Whisk, 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 Well, try and say whisk really fast. Whisk, whisk, It's really hard, isn't it? What snack should we have? Chocolate or chocolate? Chocolate or chocolate? Which one though, Buttons or Lindor? Um, there's not a lot of the Lindor left. Oh, have you been eating it? Well... Oh, you've had half of it. <laughs> that is a big hot chop. Oh, yours looks nice. Yours looks really chocolatey. Mine looks more yours like looks, Yeah, it looks frothy on the top. It must be the milk. Do you want chocolate sprinkle on the top? Yeah. Wow, so posh. This lounge isn't cosy enough for my liking. So let's put these lights on. Pumpkin cheesecake candle. We're so nearly at the end of this, though. We've used so much of it. Oh, dear. Are we at the end? Oh, no. 
There we go. Look how much we've used of it. It was only six ninety nine from HomeSense. Talk about getting your money's worth. I've just cleared out my wardrobe of coats and jackets and I cannot tell you how happy this makes me. Look at all this extra room. This is the pile that I'm getting rid of. Obviously this is a dressing gown, <laughs> this is not a jacket. But there's so much here, there's a couple of dressing gowns actually. Oh, that one actually is a jacket. Look at me thinking I'm cats later. I can't believe all of these fit in there. Like no wonder I was trying to squash everything in. It feels so much better now. You know like when your style just changes as you grow older, Things like the bright orange jacket and the pink jacket, I just wouldn't wear those anymore, personally. But these ones, they're all very like neutral tones. I did keep one pink jacket. Not sure if I'll actually wear this, but I mean, I don't hate it, so I've decided to keep that. But all neutral tones, leather jackets, this biker jacket from Topshop, oh my goodness, it is my favourite thing ever. It's actually so warm. It's not waterproof, but I think it was about £65 from Topshop. I got it a couple of years ago now, but if I can find a link to it, I will. Because it's so thick and it's like fur lined as well. Obviously faux fur. But I've just kept a few denim jackets. I never really wear denim jackets, so I don't really know why I've kept them. But for emergencies. <laughs> when does life ever throw a denim jacket emergency at your hand? But I've got a few little Primark ones here, just like fur and faux fur, obviously. Um, and puffer jackets, done, sorted. What a good job for a Saturday morning. Wasn't even planning on doing that. Look, my mum washed all the baby clothes and they've all like come up like new. They're so cute. I'm so pleased. I'm gonna put these all in a bag now and put them in my wardrobe somewhere. Just to keep them all safe. Oh my gosh, this makes me want to have a child. Han, you don't even have a boyfriend yet. Talking about two steps ahead. It is my best mate Becca's birthday this week. And you know when you buy someone a present and you're really pleased with it? That's how I feel about this present. So I thought I would show you quickly what I've got her by the time this video goes up. Actually, no, she won't have got it yet. Becca, if you're watching, stop watching right now. Becca's a really crafty person. Crafty as in like making things, not as in like sneaky. <laughs> so I got her this from a company called Makebox. And basically it's a little clock that you make yourself. It looks so pretty, the final product. And you get everything with it to make the clock. Like these are the hands that tick. This is obviously all the thread for the embroidery, the ring, and then this is what the final product looks like. I know that this is gonna be like right up Becca's street, the final product, and she's gonna really enjoy making it. So this is what I got her for her birthday. This was the first thing. Makebox have loads of different boxes and they're all like very crafty. I think you can sign up to a subscription, I'm not sure. You can buy individual boxes, which is what I've done with this one, but it's got the instructions to go through it. I quite want to get one for myself. I think it's so sweet. So yeah, that is the first thing that I got Becca. And then the second thing, Becca's the kind of person who loves small businesses. She loves supporting creativity. She lives in Brighton, so think very like Brighton-esque. That is exactly what Becca's like. So I wanted to get her something from a small business. I think Makebox is a fairly small company. I spoke to the guy who ships them and he seemed really, really lovely. It seemed like a very personal thing. I just paid for it though, like none of this is gifted or anything like that, obviously. So supporting a small business was really important for Becca's present for me. So the next thing I got are these beautiful resin coasters with dried flowers in them. And I also got her a bookmark. I think these are so lovely. This is the page that I got these from. It's called Kerations. And what I loved about this is it's a sister duo who are based in London. Becca also has a sister and they're a little sister duo from Surrey. So I thought Becca would love that I've supported a sister company. And I think Becca is going to love these. They do so many different styles. The girls are really, really lovely that run this. See, like, look at all these different ones that they have. They're so sweet. You can request like different colours and stuff if you want colours, different size coasters, different shapes as well. I actually said to them I'd love something like this sort of style for Becca and then they make like your kind of order. I love this wild look. So these are what they came up with and I think they're absolutely perfect. Love the bookmark as well. I love this colour scheme. So that is what I've got Becca for her birthday and the lovely girls over at Kerations very kindly put in a little package for me as well. Thank you so much girls. I honestly couldn't believe it when I opened them. So these are all going to be in my office. I just think they are the perfect addition to any room. And look at the little key ring. It is too sweet for words. I think my favourite one is this one. Oh, I don't know. I do really you like this one though i love them all thank you so much go and check them out lovely lovely girls this is their page like i said 
go and give Amy and Carmen a follow. And let's keep our fingers crossed that Becca loves their presents. I'm so sure she will. I have confidence in this. So it's a bit later and we've just brought Sunny down to the beach. Dogs are actually allowed on South End Beach from the 1st of October. She loves digging and the beach is the one place she's allowed to dig. Oh dear, you got a wet foot. Oh, my feet are going to get wet, I just realised. We're literally just the other side of the pier. This is the pier going out there. Longest pier in the world. Actually, I don't think that's true. I know what it is. It's the longest pleasure pier in the world. Although there's not much pleasurable about it. <laughs> it's literally just a cafe at the end. So, my precious little angels. We've been the blink of an eye, another week is done. But anyway guys, it is now Saturday evening. It's about nine o'clock right now as I'm filming this. I've just finished editing the rest of the vlog. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I feel like it's been quite a chatty one this week. If you made it this far, leave this emoji in the comments down below so I know you're an absolute trooper. But anyway, do subscribe to see my future videos. I hope you all have a lovely Sunday or rest of the week and I'll see you again soon with another little video. Bye guys, love ya. Thank you.